Hey guys, I'm just gonna kind of go through something I created and just recreate it from scratch to kind of show you guys how um, some of like the basics of ACSIL, which is the language that Sierra Chart uses, which is based off of C++. Um, the ACSIL stands for Advanced Custom Study Interface and Language. And so I created a study that changes the background, so it's pretty useless but um, it does kind of help show how it's used and I'm gonna have to create a different name here I'm gonna go so you want to go up to analysis new open custom custom studies file and then you're gonna choose whatever you want to name it so I'm gonna name it background change you go right here and so it's gonna open us up this default essentially and so we got the includes here, chart.h, and then some of this other stuff. This is essentially gonna be the name of the folder that it's gonna be under. So I'm gonna just name it something like uh, breath studies. And then this down here should be the name. And I'm gonna name that background changer. And then also you can switch right here background changer and the essentially this is like the basic layout so in between here is where you're gonna have your defaults and this is what it'll show when you open up your study and you go to the settings this for example that's already put here would be a this I mean sorry this would be an input essentially so it would say input float, and then you'd be able to put input a float right here. And we're gonna wanna be doing a background. So I'm gonna switch this input name to background color. And then we're gonna wanna switch this input not to set float, but to set color. And I'm gonna have it default to RGB um, zero, zero, zero as the default. And so now when we go to the settings, the default's gonna be RGB 000, which I believe is white or black, I think it's white. And then it's gonna be named background color. And then up here, um, I think I'm just gonna remove, I think I'm just gonna remove this. And then I am going to put the SC graph region to zero, which the graph region zero is the main chart. Okay, so now we have a input, we kind of have a name for our study. And down here, we're going to want to get this color and set that as the background. And so first thing I'm going to do is do sc dot use global chart colors and set that equal to zero and what this is going to do is make it so it doesn't use the global chart colors because we want to use our own essentially and then sc dot chart background color and so this is going to change the color to whatever we would put here and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pull the value from here and it's pretty simple. You're gonna put the almost the exact same thing, sc dot input, and put the zero dot instead of set color. Now we do get color. And all the inputs that we would put in defaults are pretty easy because they're always gonna be set something, set float, get float, right? And so now it's going to get the color that we input and set that to the background. And so I'm gonna go up to here. I'm gonna click save, and then we're gonna exit out of here, see if um, we can go up here to analysis, build custom studies, and then it has it already chosen, go to build, remote build. And this is gonna compile it and build in. It should only take like 10 seconds. All right, remote build succeeded. And so now if we go up to analysis studies, go to add custom study, we're gonna see the folder Brov Studies, right? This is the name that we had at the top. 
and then background changer. So we're going to add this study. And yep, so I guess that was black, not white. And now if we go in, let's change it to this green color, right? And this is kind of an easy way to change the background. Not necessarily a super useful study, but good to see as an example. Darker colors probably fit this better. And you can kind of change the background like that. So just kind of a simple example as I'm learning, I'm just gonna kind of share some things I create, whether they're stupid or not. I just think it's kind of helpful to see some of the syntax and simple examples of how it's used.